Stitches of love we we sew In this online world we come to grow Mom and Pop will chart where hearts align Let's embrace the craft and let our souls shine Hey everyone! Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop Studio, and we are working on a beautiful unicorn quilt project that we put together via of our live streams. We had a lovely panel that was, um, the whole kit was actually donated to the quilt shop, so thank you very much for that Pat Straw House. And what we did is we cut that panel up. It had 12 different unicorns in it. We shadow box those unicorns, add some more background fabric behind to make them pop out a bit, and then use some of the rest of the fabric that was in the kit, like in the, the fat, beautiful fat quarters to go along with this line to build it out with a little bit of borders and some half square triangles, some love, okay? So now we're just gonna continue. We're zooming here. We're on the last row. I'm using polyester batting just because I am I think it'll be a little bit easier for the washes and it adds a little bit more of a poof to it. Okay. Just trying to make sure things are just going to stay flat-ish so it can stitch up. We had a lot of fun putting it together. You can check out the live streams. Miss Gwenny was helping me for one episode. We we're putting the the sachet, I think we were building out pretty much the, the front top. We were, we were coming and hawing about ideas for the side, but I like what it came up with. So we needed to kind of bulk out the middle section just a little bit. So we had to do a little bit here and a little bit here, but it was of the material that came in the kit. So there we go, lovely. And the gray, gray from our stash and the cream was from our stash as well to help complement the whole quilt project coming together. Now this is a gift for a little girl down in Illinois. And here's hoping she likes it. Tried to use a mix of the colors to bring out the prettiness of all the little colors that are in the panel. And then when Walt was just gonna finish stitching it up. The project behind me is actually our member quilt. Now to be uh, to get a chance to win that quilt, you do have to be a member either on our YouTube site uh, of $10 or more. Same with our um, Twitch site, you have to be a tier two subscriber as well as it, or a guild member on our guild website of the $10 or more. So you have to be of the 10 or more to be able to get a chance to win it. So, um, I do believe Pop's going to get a video out there to announce who the winner is of that. And thank you everybody who helps our channel. I appreciate it very much. It's what keeps this little quilt shop going. I'm just about to pull some fabrics for the next project to start, uh, but I need to get this one finished first. So. Okay, so there's always, always little threads that go in between the seams, no matter what project or where, it's always happening. <laughs> I kept the quilt directional. I also pieced the back. I have a big chunk of lovely purple here on either side, as well as I used some of the leftover half or strangles to make a beautiful um, flying geese section in the back, in the middle of the quilt. So it's two quilts in one. If she happens to ever get tired of looking at the unicorn, she's got another like quilt, pro quilt on the back. Oh, I didn't realize that even nipped there. Okay, about to hold those back. That's okay. We can handle that. Hopefully you have all had a good week so far. It's still uh, relatively warm here in Nova Scotia. It was a little bit cooler today. We'll take, we'll take anything at this point.
Uh, the pattern that we chose for this one is called uh, turning curls, tumbling curls, sorry, tumbling curls. It is an edge to edge. I, I had a butterfly one picked out, but I just wanted it to be just movement, like just just some of the fancy swirls or some, obviously we got some tumbling, tumbling curls here. Uh, I really, I thought that would go really well with it. Sometimes, you know, you think it's really easy just, oh, I'll just slap that on there, be, you know, fine for the quilting. But then you're like, well, maybe I don't want to add more animals to this, right? You just want to add just a little bit of texture. And I thought, nice little whimsy with the little hooks and curls. Oops. Trim that up. We're going to continue to work uh, on the weekend, the Spoon Flower Mini Backpack. We'll continue working out with some of the leftover materials from this project that's for the same person. A little, little quilt top and matching backpack. I don't think the quilt will fit in the backpack, but... <laughs> <laughs> tidy up some threads. Going tidy up thread thread. And thank you to all the people who were concerned about our Sophie, our dog Sophie. She's she's doing better. Slowly but surely, she's doing better. <laughs> it's gonna look so cute in the sun. It turned out to be 68 wide, 80 long. And I have bits and pieces left over from uh, the project um, to be able to make um, a scrappy, from the project uh, binding. I think that'll look really nice having all those little bits of color coming all the way around the quilt. Do you like a scrappy binding? Is that one thing that you like to put on your quilts if possible? I think I thought it would be really pretty on this one so. There's quite a few really cute and adorable unicorns on here, but I'm sure there's a favorite. Everybody's got a favorite. <laughs> All right, scooting into the last little section, block sections, going to stitch out here. Please stay tuned to the end so you can see what the front and the back look like. I'll have to take photos uh, for the back so you can see that and a, and a proper photo for the front. So we've got the buying, um, batting here we can trim up. Just got to find the right scissors. There they are. I do keep a specific scissors just for my batting. That way when I trim it, it's just a little bit coming off. A couple more little tumbling curls. Looks like the cows have moved on to the neighbor's pasture, so. It was nice having them here while we did. <laughs> oh, I used cotton candy pink thread. 
I thought it was nice and light. It wasn't going to deter from the eye of being like a stronger color and still had all those unicorns standing out really nicely. Almost done. Good. Pearls. One, two, three, four. Two big ones, two little ones. Here's one of the big ones. It's like my favorite part. It's when Walt is almost finished or we're done finished quilting it. And then it gets to go over to the table to get trimmed up and ready for binding. We're going back around again and then she's done. Nice. Good job, Walt. Good job. All right, lock stitches in the outside edge, unclamp, straight in the center here, unclamp, and then I will unzip. And then we will unhook this and let it go. And I will show you in a second here. Go out of the way. Okay. Oh, this looks so nice. <laughs> Hope she likes it. I had a lot of fun making it, and we kind of came up with our own little pattern to 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 make it really pretty and beautiful. There we go. And like I said, I did a piece to back because oh, you can't really see, but but I did with the half square triangle some leftover ones. There we go. Awesome. Thank you everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing. We greatly appreciate it here at the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop Studio. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Or if you have any suggestions, greatly appreciate it. Take care. Enjoy the day. We'll see you soon.